In the beginning of this, before we move on to the show details, there's something I forgot to do with the prepare for segue for the new contact detail, the new contact table view controller. Um, if you recall, we named the segue, and I'll show you quickly. Uh, in the document outliner, in the new, in the address book, we had. We had the unwind segue for save, and we named that segue the save segue. But when we came to the program, I forgot to implement that segue here. So we combined. We need to do those three steps only if the segue that's presented is the save. Because this function prepare for segue will be called whether it's the cancel segue or the save. And while the doesn't appear to be harm of trying to do this if there are no data in the text field. It's better to protect yourself and only assign the text if the segue is the safe segue. So how can we check if the segue is the safe segue? So we'll say if and then use the segue uh, that we received and access the identifier of the segue and check if this identifier is the same as the name that we provided for the segue and then enclose all this program inside that uh, those uh, brackets and I can uh, go to and indent from the editor structure and uh, shift to right so this, this will only work if the segue is the save uh, segue you have to have the name and uh, is the same as the identifier. So that's uh, this part. So we are now going to the next iteration. And in the next iteration, this will be iteration number four. And what we are uh, hoping to accomplish in iteration number four um, is the show details. So the, uh, the problem formulation here. Um, in the scope we want to show the details of a contact of a contact so when the user click on a contact they, we can see all the details how do we test it uh, currently we see the first name and the last name so we choose a contact with the email and then uh, test with, maybe with the Joe, uh, John Doe uh, sample contact or add a new contact and test that we're able to see the email so in the uh, solution formulation again there is no change in the model the model stays the same so we have the model no change in the model and then we have the view and we're adding a new view so let's get a new page here uh, so we have our list and we see multiple cells and then the user will select on one of those cells so the user will select on one of those cells and that will lead to a new view that will be able to show you the details because in the in the list we only see last name and first name so we'll go to another view that will have labels so we can use the label uh, the UI label component that we used before uh, to display the first name the last name and the email address now in the in the uh, detail view if I know the contact that was selected, I can assign the first name, last name, and email to the three labels, and we know how to do that. So the trick part in this iteration is to figure out the actual cell that the user selected, retrieve the contact at that particular cell, and pass that contact through the segue to the show details. And we have done something close to this before, so this should be straightforward. So that's the view. And then we have the controller. And in the controller, we have two controllers that's going to participate, the details, uh, the contact details controller. And we'll have here three labels. 
that are connected as outlet and then in the viewed load when the view load for this controller that's when we assign the contact so this controller only need also needs a contact as an attribute contact attribute so we can assign the selected contact to this contact attribute so this will be what we'll do in the address book and in the address book we'll do this work in the prepare for segue to get the selected uh, contact and assign it to the destination contact so in the implementation Um, first step is to add the contact details view add the contact details controller connect the two uh, connect the address book with the contact details I'm listing the ideas of what I have in mind of what need to be done um, and then uh, connect the, with the details and then add the labels and implement viewed load and implement prepare for segue at the address book So let's see how we can do all of this. So go to, back to the uh, address book and uh, in the storyboard. So we can choose for the new contact and, and for the contact details, we can still use um, a table view controller, although the, uh, the auto layout will uh, might mess up our alignment here a little bit. So I'm just gonna use uh, because I'm trying to avoid covering the auto layout um, we'll add a regular view controller that we have used before we can zoom in a little bit to uh, put the layout in a, in a better situation and uh, select the, the cell and con connect from the cell to the view controller so I'm not I'm selecting the content view not the cell so this is the table view and this is the cell so from the cell to the table view control and you can have two types from the cell you can add an accessory button so when the user click on the accessory the action will take place or you can do a selection segue when the user selected a cell uh, we can go or you can have two different things and you can have multiple different things so we're gonna do here uh, show segue and a selection uh, segue so when the user select it will take us to the show segue and I only want to show the details so I want to go back there's not much I uh, want to do here so now we have the connection let's add the contact details view controller so source on iOS Coco touch it's a table view it's a view controller because I used a regular view controller and this will be called contact details view controller Swift is the language uh, I'll group everything together create and then go to the storyboard and connect that to uh, the class so contact details of view controller so now my uh, it is governed by um, let's add the labels three labels here uh, have first label and uh, in the attributes I don't need that label thing here uh, you can have each one a different color if you want uh, And you should have here three labels, so here they are. I'll 
move that other one down a little bit. And if you are confused with this, you can bring the content outliner and this will show you uh, clearly each one of the labels. So I have three labels and I set them up. So now the next step is to connect it to the controller as an outlet. Actually, I want the content outliner. So this is the first name, control, drag, and then we'll call this label first name. And then the second one, we'll put the last name in this second one. So label last name. And then the third one, we'll put the uh, label email. So I have all three of them. So I don't need the assistant editor anymore go to the contact details and I want to add the contact attribute so I'll say var and then I'm gonna call it contact and you can assign it to a contact or just say contact initialize it to uh, something and then we'll override it afterwards in the view did load that's when we uh, take the information from the contact and put it in the label so we'll say uh, label first name the text equal the first name from the contact and then label last name text so we'll assigning the information from the contact property to the text uh, at property of the uh, each of the labels So this works well. I don't need to do anything else in the contact details. The key to this is that this contact be assigned to the actual contact that was selected before this uh, view controller is initialized. So we'll go to the address book and this becomes the navigation from the address book. I did not name the segue, so let's go back and name it. So selected the segue that we just added and give it the name uh, and I call it contact details segue. So similar to, so this is the segue that takes from the address book to the contact details. It's a selection segue when the user selects the cell and I'm gonna give it an identifier contact details segue. So I'll go to the address book and I'm implementing the prepare for segue. So I'll comment this part from the template here is this and as you can see the address book launches at least two segues here one and I want to implement only the one for the contact details so I want to make sure that it is the contact details segue so I start by uh, saying that check for the identifier for the segue and make sure it is the contact details segue and if not then don't do anything then what I want to do is uh, first get the selected contact before I do anything else so in the table view that's where I get the uh, the, the action uh, happen so in the table view uh, we can get the index path for a selected row. So when the user makes a selection, I can get the index path for that particular uh, selection. And I can, from the index path, uh, get the row that was selected. Now this row, uh, I can then uh, assign that row to an index and use that index. So I'll, let's say let uh, selected index equal the uh, so the selected index is an integer unfortunately the table view does not know what's inside the cell so similar to the picker view the uh, table view cannot tell you what's in it but it can tell you what index was selected so i get the index selected and i and the table view give you an index path i need the row from that index path and assign this to a variable or a constant here selected index then get the uh, selected end contact from the uh, data source. So selected contact equal, 
and then go to the data source and say give me a contact at index and pass to it this selected index so now I have a contact now that I have a selected contact and there is something wrong in here what's wrong the selected index alright we can use that it's a an optional type so we can uh, so we can use that here for the selected index so now let's get the destination uh, controller and hence the destination contact so I'll say let destination equal and then use the segue and get the destination view controller but then we have to cast that to our contact details view control and then finally we assign the destination contact to be the selected contact so assign the selected contact to the contact element in the destination and that then once the prepare for segue makes that assignment and the contact details loads everything should uh, work in place so now we test so if we select it here they are the first name, the last name, and the email address. If you add your own, and then save, and click on it, you can see the information in the contact detail. You can clean this up, make it look nicer, and so on, uh, but that's the uh, part. So that uh, concludes this iteration and concludes the required part for this project. In the next two videos, we'll look at uh, two uh, extra credit parts or advanced part. The first one is the ability to delete one of the contacts, and the second one is to reorder the contacts. And then in the second video, we'll look at saving the contacts to a file. Because right now, this new contact I added, if I stop and run again, I lose that new contact that I added so we'll need to save to a file on the device so unless you reset your phone the contacts will always be there thank you